This video tutorial is going to go over message sets, dot set, dot NFO, and dot config files within the FT application. We're also going to go over recorded messages within the Presidio configuration software. The FT application is basically used anytime you are transferring files to or from your NCO. The first thing we're going to do is open our FT application. Simply type in the IP address of the NCO that we are connecting to. Username and password default to admin, admin, all lowercase. Now we're going to open message sets. Uh, take note to see that at the top it has message set mode. We can either view, edit an existing one, or create a new one. For our application, we're going to create a new one. I always recommend copying the entire Presidio DVD onto your desktop, so it's always there as a reference. We're going to open the Presidio folder, and then open Tools, then Audio, Tools, and Sounds, then Sounds, then Messages, and then English. You'll see our list of pre-recorded uh, WAV files. We're going to go ahead and copy all of them over for our application by highlighting them and clicking the right arrow. You'll notice you can also preview your WAV files. In the interest of security, please do not leave your luggage unattended at any time. You can transfer any WAV file that is 44.1K 16-bit audio if you were to make your own files or sounds. Once you've copied the files you wish to make a set as, we want to save message set as and give it a name. I always like to add a Presidio folder onto my C drive for another place to back up files like set files and configuration files. Uh, we'll call it Presidio temp for our application and save it as set1. What we've done is created and saved a message set to our C drive. Now we actually have to transfer it to our NCO. We'll do this by going into File Transfer and then click on Message Set and then locating the folder where we just saved our set file. Make sure to transfer the actual .set file. And you'll see that it has taken to your NCO. I'd also like to go over the configuration portion. This is where you would back up your current Presidio configuration and or work offline to create a configuration and then upload it to your NCO. Again, for our application, I am going to back up a configuration and simply save it to my local C drive in the same folder where my set files are. So if anything were to happen, you have the configuration file that you could reload into um, a new NCO. Once you've created a message set and transferred it to your NCO with the uh, FT application software, you can go ahead and log into the Presidio configuration software by typing the NCO's IP address into your browser. Again, username and password default is admin, admin, all lowercase. Now we're going to tell the system what messages we actually transferred to the NCO. Under Configure, System Wide Settings, Recorded Messages, you'll notice that there are none. This is also a good time to point out the .nfo and set file that we saved in our Presidio temp file on the C drive. The set file is the actual file we've transferred to the NCO. The NFO file is a text file that when opened with Notepad, for example, you can see exactly what you've transferred to your NCO. Uh, I should also point out that the set file and NFO file must be in the same folder. You can see here that it gives us the actual file names that we've transferred to our NCO. For example, if we had a hundred messages, 
This would be a good way to copy and paste them into your NCL and ensure accuracy. So under recorded messages, we are going to add a new one. And these have to be exact. Uh, so I'm going to open these two windows and simply copy and paste the names of every file that I transferred to my NCO. These are case sensitive and if they're incorrect, you will receive a fault from your NCO. You can see how this process would take some time, depending on the size of your message set. Then once we've completed all of our recorded messages, submit your changes, and then do a save and restart for your changes to take. As always, many of the system settings and preferences are specific to your application, so if you have any questions, please give us a call at 866-782-8346.